Hi guys, welcome to another video. Thanks a lot for all your uh, suggestions in terms of what you'd like to see on video. One of the more common ones these days has been about rubber, both the bungee rubber and the actual spear gun rubber. Those of you in America, bands. For bungees, we have a variety of colors. They're pretty much a set length. This is your gun bungee attached to your shooting line. We also have it in shorter lengths. It's fairly soft. It's not a true latex rubber. This is a thermoplastic rubber. You can get it in a variety of stiffnesses, stretchability, and it's a lot more durable than that of latex. Latex is quite a pure natural product, very good to drive the spear, but not that suitable in my opinion to have as a bungee. The problem with latex is it stretches too much. On a short bungee, not too much of a problem, but if you go for a full blue water bungee, you want something with a little bit more stiffness and not as much stretch. Our blue water bungees stretch roughly double their length. So you can get it in 20 meter, 30 meter lengths as a blue water. And you have more control of your fish if it's a little stiffer, but it still has give. We have a line inside the middle. This enables it to stretch to double its length. So 30 meter will be 60 meter. If we use latex, you could stretch it to three, four, sometimes five times its length. The last thing you want is to have a fish have uncontrolled range away from you. you you'll be pulling forever to get that line in. The shorter one's not a problem. We recommend these, for instance, when you're diving with a reel gun, you attach one end to your belt reel, the other to the back of your handle. This way, it keeps this quite stiff in front of you, easy to control, and that will stretch out to two and a half to three times its length. The two different types of this plasticized rubber I'm going to pull them on a scale to show you what I'm talking about. So this is the softer gun bungee, or I would recommend one meter, two meter, up to five meters. Anything longer than that, it's not too easy to control. The stiffer one, I only have a short piece here made up, as you can see, very hard to pull. I'll stretch that and show you what it's like. This one, we'll pull on a scale, scale on, we're gonna pull this two and a half to three times. This piece between the knot is roughly 10 centimeters. There's zero. It's just under 30. We're getting 5.8 to six kilos. That's how much tension it'll hold at its, what we would regard as max stretch. Now the blue water bungee, being a lot stiffer, quite difficult to stretch out here. We also only pull it to two times its stretch. So this is the blue water bungee. We'll probably stretch out to twice its length at a much higher tension. There we're at 10, stretch it out. Hard for you to read in that direction is about 19 kilos. There we go. 18 to 19. Quite usable as a full bungee and very suitable for soft-bodied fish like wahoo, king mackerel, but not suitable for certain fish like dog tooth tuna. For dog tooth tuna, you want to hold that fish off the reef. They're dirty fighters, they will go into the reef. If you give him a bungee like this, he will get into the reef with the gear. Remember, that's about 18 kilos of tension. So if you had a 20 liter float, this will just get to maximum stretch before it pulls it under. Whereas if you use the softer bungee, that will get to max stretch and pull under. These gun bungees have a cord inside as will the blue water bungees. So if by chance, sharp bit of reef or a fish's tooth cuts it, you will be still connected to the fish. I hope that explains our bungees. Stand by for the next Spear Gun Rubbers. <music>